Attracting Investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading in YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. The awesome. I know quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, problem with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day to make it a great week, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Create the perfect relationship between you and your body. Treat your, treat your body with all love, honor, gratitude, and respect. When you make it a goal to adore your body and accept yourself completely, you'll learn you have the perfect relationship with anyone else you're with. Remember, folks, okay, you, know, you only have one body, man. Take care of it. Take care of your body, your mind, your soul, your spirit, all of it. This is, uh, this is a fun little uh, deal. So pay attention to it and take care of it. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 263, NASDAQ up 362, SP's up 60, gold contract up $12.70, trading at 1797 an ounce. We got silver up 19 cents, $22.50 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 32, $88.14 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10 year note. Down one tick, trading 127.29, the 30 year off eight at 155.15 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down 680 ticks, trade 96.589, Euro is 112, Yen is 115, the British pound is at 134 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, this is going to be a cool little market to trade, folks. So. If we go over where we've been, right? Bottom line, SPY hit a high 479.98. That high was generated January 4th, right? Sell down fast and furious to 420. So we went from 480 approximately to 420. 60 points down, what's that? Almost 15, 12 and a half, 13 percent. That being said, what we did, and this is why we're getting really such a cool bounce, is that those four days of last week, I talked many times about if you come back and start testing lows too quick, the market gets exhausted. There's only so many sellers, folks. That's how this goes. Bottom line, that's what the market did down continually. Friday, market said, see ya, don't want to be ya, wants to take off topside again. Why? Because there's no more sellers. You're biased coming in the marketplace. Okay, now that being said, you're going higher, you have a contraction of volume. What sets up the next leg down? I suspect what we're going to see here is that the SPY, okay, can actually get up really close to the last swing point of 473. The reason I'm saying that is this. Most of the time when you get a bounce like this, okay, you take the lows of the last leg down. And the lows of the last leg down on the SPY is 450. Well, we already hit 448. And window dressing has just started. We get two more days of window dressing. So that's telling me... And it's because there's plenty of people that don't look at volume, trust me, even pro professionals, that they're going to buy, buy, buy. That's, that's what they're going to do. Bottom line, what you're going to have here, we're going to get a nice counter trend bounce, and I suspect we'll be right back down because what we did not do is that we did not test the full lows of the downdraft. We got close to them, but we didn't do it. And the full low in the downdraft is 420 bucks. That's your spy. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. What we have at the NDX right now is you take a look at the NDX, same setup, 
But the low in the queues is 334. Bottom line, we got down to uh, 337.95, rejected the lower price. You have a huge contraction. Now, I think what we're going to see here is that the queues can actually get all the way up to 378, which would be pretty amazing. You know, we'll see how it shakes out, but that's, that's how it looks to me right now. The gold market. What do we have with gold? Gold, bottom line, wants higher price. This is going to get really interesting watching this. Um, and the part that I'm talking about is not where we're going right now. So with gold, what you have is this. Gold, the gold equities, they came down. They came down to the lower end of their consolidation. Each and every one of them rejected lower price, had lighter volume, all of the above. We'll see what kind of traction gold can get going. Today, that's interesting. That This is not the uh, once. Let me, let me get the... Uh, GC... I just had the wrong contract up here. There we go. I knew I had more volume. Ah, that's weird, too. Hold it. Jeez. There we go. Okay. Well, now we're talking. GCJ. So we're on the April contract now. Okay. So there's some volume. 127. Okay. So bottom line is that we're going to need a lot more buyers. And we're going to need that wide price spread to come in. You know, thus far, what we have done, you rejected the lower price. You didn't get into the low that was generated out here in December. And it's going to be, well, let's go to sil take a look at silver. Silver. Okay, so silver. S-I-J. S-I-J. No, S-I-J. Okay. Nope, that's not it. So silver is still on the H contract. Okay, if we take a look at silver, silver's up 16 cents. This is going to need wide price spread and accelerated volume also. I mean, what, what did happen is this. Silver actually looked that it went down faster than gold, but it didn't. Uh, and it, in fact, didn't get as low as gold. So silver is always highly volatile. What silver didn't do is take out its swing point of January 7th, which gold did. And where are we going? We're going to go right to the good old U.S. dollar. Because if we get followed through tomorrow, you can expect this dollar to go a lot lower. Let me pull this up. When you get a false break, either topside folks are downtown, and it doesn't sustain price, it can turn into real trouble for the whatever instrument you're trading. You know, you can see this. This is a nice bar, man. Last week, we went from 96 627 to 97 441. We got outside the whole consolidation and then bang, just gives it up in spades. So we'll see if we can get follow through. You get follow through, this could basically say that you're on the very end, the lower end of the consolidation, which actually is the 89 level, which is pretty amazing. But that's just how it's set up, man. You know, it's, it's, <laughs> I'm sure people that are along the dollar say, what the heck is going on now? Let's go over to the euro and take a look at the euro and see how the euro is set up right now. So the, you can see the euro is just the opposite, man. Euro just jumped back inside its range. 111.86, you're at 112.39. Stay there. Stay right there, folks. Come back when I'm in. This is Steve Rhodes. We are going to be talking markets. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading uh, up 137. Nasdaq's up 301. S&P's up 43. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow and just shows right now uh, trading uh, up 128. You got the Nasdaq up at uh, 293. S&Ps are up 42. It was a fast 20 points down. You're going to love this market. Let's go to over now, man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show here every trading day, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. Also, great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter, Mastering Probability. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You just... So you'll see Master of Probability on the right-hand side. You just hit subscribe. You get Master of Probability for one month for $149. You get it for six months at $695, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. You can get it for a year for $1195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all, bottom line, come back with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. You can go check it out. You like it, right? You're going to get charged. You don't like it. For some reason, it doesn't work for you. You get your money back. Check it out. Great time to get a trading newsletter, folks. That's the bottom line. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Hey, did you get snow flurries up there in the Great White North of Tampa? Clear way, you know, on a Saturday? No, we didn't. <laughs> it, it just sounds like Old Man Winters attacked you a little bit. Oh, it, uh, it, it sounds like a little bit cold. Yeah, no, no, I know. I, I sound a lot worse than I am. That, that's the bottom line. I, uh, I'm, I'm good, but... Yeah. This is leftover, I guess, so it yeah, is what it is, you know. Yeah, boy, was it cold here over the weekend. Oh, listen, we're little babies. When I was listening to your show, I was cracking up when you're saying it's 35 degrees, you know, which, by the way, folks, okay, where Steve is, is always about 10 degrees hotter than from where we are because he's lower in the south, you know. Yes. Tampa's here yeah. and Delray's down here on the, you know, so that was surprising, I know. What a, what a yeah. cold front, man. But that's it. It's 70 degrees out now, folks. <laughs> That's true. That's Come on true. down yeah. and visit us. Exactly, like exactly. So let's uh, pick up where we last left off, which was the seasonal perspective yes. for the Dow, which uh, typically tops and bottoms in the month of uh, January. So on average, the top comes in around January 6th, and the bottom comes in around January the 30th. So, folks, this is an 86-year cycle that we have out here. So we take a look at this year. The Dow actually topped on January 5th. That's when it made its high. And at this stage here, the month is over. We know how the markets are rallying right now. We can say that it bottomed on January 24th. Pretty cool how this uh, cycle has worked out. Now, what we look for, Tom, and everybody that's listening, what we look for is some type of pattern completion near these turn dates. So we don't just use those dates as definitive. And it doesn't have to be on that date. It just needs to be near that date. So we know that we're looking for some type of turn. So the, the top on January 5th 
was actually what we refer to as a TD9 count top. So perfect where we've got this blue arrow. If you look at the bottom, it turned out that it was a buy the D point. It was an A to B equals CD to the downside. Made us move to about the 2.618 level. And how I make a determination of when an A to B equals CD pattern completes is it needs to form some type of reversal candle. So in this case here, the market's moving lower. It needed to generate a bullish reversal candle. It did that last Monday, which was just a wild trading day. And at the end of the day, it generated a bullish hammer candle. So that was a confirmation of a, a bottom uh, for the uh, January 24th low. Now, this past Friday, uh, the Dow actually confirmed a second bottoming signal. And that's what I refer to as the Rhodes Mintum Indicator Bottom. That was confirmed with this bullish engulfing candle out there. Now, both these patterns, folks, the TD9 count, the Rhodes Mintum Indicator signal, I teach subscribers. They're in your archive workshops. Uh, so, you know, if you want to try the newsletter for the next uh, 30 days out there, you'll be able to learn these patterns. So, today, and it looks like we're going to get it, although I'm not looking at the active market right now, a close above it's what I refer to as the oscillator and change line. A close today above 34.816 is going to suggest that we should get a further rally. So it really ties into your opening segment of a counter trend move that is inside of the market. So to figure out where the Dow is headed to, what I like to do is then change over and take a look at the futures charts. And that's what the here we're taking a look at a daily in the upper left, a weekly in the upper right, uh, monthly in the lower left and a quarterly in the lower right. So as we take a look at the futures chart and the, and the daily for the Dow is in the upper left hand corner. The first target, because price is above a bullish structured profile, as long as price remains above 34,374, price then should go to the upper range, which is the top of that profile, which is up at 38,054. But before it gets there, Tom, there's this nice little trend line that is formed. So that becomes the next target to the upside. It's around the 35,500 level, and that is for the Dow. So the next question should be for folks that are looking at the seasonal cycle is are the markets going to rally into the May time frame or is this time different? And what I believe the answer to that question is this time may very well be different. And the reason is, or one of the reasons, is because we have a yearly, an annual TD9 count top. And you and I, Tom, we talked about this probably four, five, six, seven weeks ago yes. as we were preparing for 2022. I, markets were rallying. I'm sure people were saying, what's this guy talking about? Yeah, there? you know, Steve, this one, folks, I'm telling you, listen listen here, because this is, this is gonna be really cool, Steve, because of that yearly one. Yes. Because, like, even, you know, I mean, my take is that it's a counter trend bounce, but we all know that, hey, man, if this grabs a lot of strength, it could be something different. But that yearly True. TD9 is a big deal, man. Yeah. It, it, it is a big deal. Yeah. And, and that's why I say this really could be uh, different. And I want folks to remember it was the this daily TD9 count top on January 5th that helped us to identify the top out there. So, therefore, I think we could be looking at a significant top. And that significant top, folks, if it really does take hold, and so far it has. So until it's proven otherwise, it has taken hold. And we could be looking for a move lower for the next two to three years out there. Now, many folks, Tom, this is what I always find is amazing. Many people, not you, uh, but many people, if you take a look at just the national media out there, they think that the move lower that took place last week was because the Fed is talking about raising interest rates. But that conclusion is that factually incorrect if we take a look at the last two decades, the last 20 years out here. And here at the bottom of the chart is the Fed discount rate. And if we take a look at the Fed's funds rate out here, we can see back in 2003, it began moving higher. If we go and take a look at what the Dow did during that same time frame, it moved higher. We have an even more recent event than that, and that's 2016. When the uh, Fed began raising interest rates, what happened to the stock market? It also continued to move lower. lower. Uh, it also continued to move higher out there. So Fed, the Fed raising interest rates, folks, is not going to be the thing that croaks the market. So then what is it? If it's not interest rates that are going to cause the decline, then what is it that's going to cause that move lower? And one possible answer is war. Because stock markets, Tom, they do not like war. I mean, they just absolutely hate war. And what's nice about that is you and I, we can go back, take a look at stock charts, take a look at price behavior, and prove or disprove that theory. If we go back to June 25th, 1950, we look at the Korean War. North Korean Army, they cross the border on June 25th. The uh, Dow here continues to move lower. And it moves lower until the market senses some type of feeling of positive optimism. In this case here was Task, Task Force Smith, uh, um, uh, which uh, 
uh, generated that optimism inside of the U.S. If we go and take a look at Pearl Harbor, soon as we saw the attack, we can see that the Dow continued to move lower. And it was the Battle of the Coral Sea, May 7, 1942, that generated that feeling of optimism out here. If we take a look at the Persian Gulf War, we had several instances where there was a sense of a positive outcome, a positive resolution that led to the rebound. It was the final Operation Desert Storm that commenced on January 16, 1991 that put in that bottom. Here's Operation Iraqi Freedom, the same type of thing. Here's the Cuban Missile Crisis, the same type of thing out there. So, folks, it's all about optimism. And the key is that when wars or skirmishes begin, it's not until you get that sense of optimism in the U.S. that we see bottom. So, in summary, if you believe the U.S. is likely to be drawn into a war or a skirmish, then use the counter-trend rally that Tom is talking about out here to adjust your portfolio. If you don't think there's any kind of war, then maybe the market moves higher to May. I don't think that's the situation. You're going to love it. Great rundown, Steve. Real easy to get his website, his newsletter, folks. Come over to TFNN. You're going to hit newsletters, Mastering Probability. Steve, have a great one, safe one. Look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. You Thank too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are trading up a buck ninety four. You get the NASDAQ up three twenty five. S and P's are up up fifty. Uh, let's get over and start to looking at a few of the uh, gold stocks for some of the tigers and tigresses out here. And what you have with many of them, folks, okay, this is pretty cool. They're island bottoms. Uh, if we start out with Harmony, what you're going to see with Harmony, this has been a consolidation going all the way back to the 8th of October. Uh, bottom line, it comes down. It gets into its lower 
swing point. Uh, it did reject the low, lower price, and uh, the volume is going to be close here on how many. So we had we had seven million versus six point seven versus. Ah, uh, there it is, right there. Okay, no, it is lighter volume. Okay, so what we did is this. Oh, awesome, Frank. What's going on? Hey, how are you? I, I mean, I was thinking about you. So first, this is Frank from Gloucester, folks. First, you got to tell us about this storm, man. The, you, I mean, that oh, ocean must have been wailing, right? It was tough here. We had 40-mile-an-hour winds sustained and gusts up to 75. Yeah. So uh, yeah. it was a blizzard. Tommy yeah, sent me and, pictures uh, of Nantucket, man. It was sick. I mean, that's, that's... Oh, they had it tough. Yeah, the islands got hit hard. Yeah. Yeah. And... Uh, it's, uh, well, you know, I'm still uh, I'm still living on a one lane road at the moment. So yeah, <laughs> they're still plowing. No, I know. Listen, what happens, folks, is the snow's not bad, but when the nor'easter comes in, it's very dangerous. So picture that if you're in Florida or somewhere else that you have heavy winds, a nor'easter has heavy winds, monster gust, but yet the snow's already come in. In this case, I guess Frank, the, the snow is lighter, so. You know, it's not that you were luckier, but it makes a difference, right? Instead of yeah, that heavy snow. Well, fluffy, especially you, but, you that know, heavy uh, snow on top of all those utilities, six, right? That's what takes everything down, man, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we, we, we're we in a good area of town, but uh, a lot of areas of town go out for hours at a time. Right. So, but there's nothing like a six-foot snow drift to have to snow blow through or deep. I know. <laughs> terrible. Oh, oh, man. Unreal. <laughs> Okay, so what are we going to look at? You want to look at Harmony? Well, I was uh, going to ask about Harmony. I, I wonder if this is a real good solid bottom. Uh, I see all these swing lows through this consolidation, and, you know, it seems to be I don't see a good bottom test here on lower volume. So, and, of course, it's taken off today on kind of low volume going up. Okay, so this is a great question. My, my take is that we have a real solid bottom. But you gotta remember something, okay. folks, okay? I'm, I'm a gold bull anyway, okay? But that, this is, <laughs> I'm not saying it just to say it. This is technically, that's how it's set up. Because what you can see is that what we did is this. We went back to the lower end of these consolidations. A couple of them broke, like if I look at the Anglo Ashanti, Anglo Gold, right? You can see that it actually broke it. It's like, okay, man, are you gonna get croaked? Now that, this setup, that's, that's a tri-star bottom which is even better. So yeah, that's yeah. kind of saying that, hey, man, we're going higher. And then if you look at some of the strong ones, like like how many folks used to be, uh, not how many, I mean, Newmont was a dog, and then all of a sudden it got strength, and you can see that Newmont didn't go down like, you know, went down, but didn't go down as bad as the rest of them. You can see that, right? And you can see yes. you're, you're in the higher range again. Um, yeah. So, and what we have Today, this dollar, I mean, if this is actually a false break topside, we are going to have a field day in the metals market. Because, uh, you know, you hear what I said. When you get a false break, folks, okay, um, it's, a, it's a big deal. And, you know, we'll see if that's it. What the false break means is that you've been in a large consolidation. You finally broke topside, which the dollar did. And then all of a sudden you gave it up in a day. When that happens, most of the time you'll go to the very end of the beginning which is 89 in the dollar. So we'll see if, you know, there's, there's a lot happening at once, I'd say, across the world, because I think what the world is basically happening, this Omnicron, you know, everyone's getting it, but the bottom line is that that is like an exhausted market. That's the end of the lockdown. It's the end of, it's at the end of the deal, man. It's a whole new deal, you know. Yeah, Wall Street's not, Wall Street's not believing it anymore. Yeah, right, right. And, well, what, what you have, there's no doubt that we're social beings. Okay, so my take on this is that, you know, this thing is going to bust open like a big deal, man. <laughs> you know, and... Yeah, well, if that was that, if that was a false break on the dollar, it, it sure made a lot of gold stocks look bad yesterday and the day before. And, and that's what I couldn't say always, because it's never always in the marketplace. But that's what does happen before you get explosions in any sectors. It seems like, you know, it seems like folks, if, you, if you're in a sector, it always seems like right before they're gonna take off like a rocket ship, bang, they get whacked. I mean, it's, yeah. yeah, I mean, wouldn't it be cool if you could really, like, really 
We try to understand the market as much as we can. But these moves are like wild, man. I mean, and they're always the same type of moves, though. But that doesn't stop you from saying that, oh, no, trust me. You know, it's like, oh, man, okay. Is this a breakdown? Like, I mean, a real breakdown, not a small breakdown, right? You know? Yeah. But when you actually, yeah. when you actually read, you know, what Powell has to say, um, you know, this deal about six and eight hikes, he, that's not, none of that is in the papers, folks. It's not even close, okay? You know, uh, you know what, what I don't understand is, you know, we've got inflation going. It's about 10% a year. Yes. Gold isn't moving, and they keep talking about uh, raising interest rates going to reduce the price of gold. That seems counterintuitive to me. If That's correct, because they're not, up, they're not talking about the other side of the balance sheet, and the other side, what Frank's saying, and the other side of the balance sheet would be that, the bottom line, if you're running 10%, gold's going to go higher. That, that's, I mean, gold catches up, stays up with inflation. There's no two ways about it. And, you know, I was thinking over the weekend, you know, the whole crypto deal. People say, oh, it's crypto. And I was really thinking about that on a supply and demand basis. But realistically, folks, the people that buy crypto weren't going to buy gold anyway. I mean, there's plenty of young people that know nothing about, you know, gold in general. And they're not going to buy it. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> the only thing that's going to move. Their lesson is coming up. <laughs> it's it's a trip. There's no doubt, man. It's pretty intense. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So, hey, we'll see. I mean, I, right now in the gold market, Frank, um, I'm aggressive. That's the bottom line. Yes. And we'll see I where. Can yeah, I know. I know. Hey, we'll see where it shakes out, man. Cooking, brother. Thanks, so. all. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Um, Bye -bye. Yeah, you got to trust yourself, folks. That's the other side of this whole deal. T you know, it, technically it's set up. You got to trust yourself, and you got to have a bigger picture of where you think everything's going. All the slots, where the slots are coming into, um, you know, because it's your money, you know, your life, and uh, don't go over your head w with the deal. But realistically, that's where I think this whole thing is uh, shaking out, and we'll see. Like when Steve and I were just talking. We will see the aspect of, um, you know, is this a counter trend bounce uh, or is this something bigger or is this the beginning of a monster consolidation? And, you know, Steve was talking about you could be lower for two or three years. Don't let that worry you, folks. That would be a beautiful setup to get another explosion topside, because if, in fact, we do that, that very well, we, we could have made the A to a B. You do a consolidation for a year, two years, and that's then the next leg up would be dramatic. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 264. You get the Nasdaq up 371. S&P's up 60. Stay right there, folks. You come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow Industrials right now up at 273. You get the Nasdaq up 382. S&Ps are up 63. Now, look at this move, folks. This is really cool, man. So check this out. This was the move in between the last 10 minutes. And what you're going to see is that right when I was getting, I was talking with Steve, the S&Ps went from uh, 4488, shot down to... 4461, okay, so you're talking about 28 points, right? And then came right back at you, but not only came right back at you, now this is the important part of this whole deal. See this bar right here? We just came in again, going to the highs, monster volume. So you get 46,000 contracts on that. That is saying that you're gonna basically take out this high coming into the close. Now, the bar that we came down was big volume. Uh, there's no doubt about that, but the bottom line is that you're coming into, let's see, we're coming into 41,000, and you did 41,000. So when you see something like that, th on that leg down, that would have been like, okay, what do you want to do? Because it was the exact same type of volume. It's not now, because this is saying it wants to take out that high. You got 46,000 coming into it with only 16,000. So that's telling me that as we get into this close, you're going to get another updraft inside of the marketplace. And what happens many times when you see something like that, what that actually is, is that you have a fund that has been getting long. They want to get longer. And as they want to get longer, what they'll end up doing is that they have all the orders in. They'll jam the market. You can only jam it so far. 20 points in this market is pretty easy to jam for, for a fund, okay? The orders are set up down there. Boom, boom, boom. They get filled. Then they're off to the races again. That's, that's the technical behind how these downdrafts come, and then they basically take off topside once again. Um, if we talk about the gold market a little bit more, I was talking about the aspect of uh, crypto versus gold. I was really, you know, just over the weekend thinking about it. Like, I would say that most of the people that are into crypto wouldn't have been into gold anyway. That being said, where the buyers do come from is that, you know, some of the targets are saying the Chinese, there's no doubt about it. the Chinese market is huge. The Indian market is huge. The central bank market, folks, is huge. We will see. Okay, this is going to be really cool. And this, this is public information. You'll see the central banks buying a lot more gold. That's the only way that they can basically keep their own currency stronger. And I suspect we're going to see that probably the next four, four or five weeks. And once you see that um, and people understand that, that thing will get on fire uh, big time. XLF. Let's go take a look at the uh, XLF and the XLE. Um, so the XLF right now, this is coming off the lows. You know, it has light volume, but that's, guess what? This one's higher price, too. So we're at uh, the XLF. We're at 38. Let me go look at JP Morgan. So the cool thing about trading the XLF, folks, you only have to really have to look at a couple of the big banks also to see how they're set up. You know, JP Morgan, that came down hard and fast. And it's like, okay, you can 
bounce up to 155, you're only at 148. You go take a look at Bank of America. Let's see, Bank of America is strong, man. Actually, it never went down as far as uh, J.P. Morgan also. Yeah, I mean, Bank of America can almost get to its highs again. And then if we go to the XLE, we take a look at the XLE. Um, the XLE wants to do another leg up. <laughs> this, this, is, this is on fire. This is, yeah, this is an ABC up. It's a monster, too. One second. 65.55. Yeah, it's a 10.8 A to B, which gets you 69. 69.84. And we've hit 67 thus far. You know, there's some, there's some real action uh, inside of the energy markets. There's, uh, let's go to the oil market and take a look at CL. You, you can imagine. So check this out. I mean, you know, the bottom line is that we're talking about a great breakout, right? This is a great breakout worldwide, folks, okay? Um, so 107, man, is game um, in, the, in the oil market. We're at 88. And if you put a continuous contract up, what you're going to see is that, there we go, the next swing point is 107. These swings, what happens when you break topside or downtown, folks, they just, you know, just picture them as little apartment buildings because that's where they go. Let's see if I got this. Yeah, I got it. Put this on, there it is right there. Yeah, you can see this thing is clean, man. And if it's an ABC up, so check this out. Oh, this is going to be cool. One second. Yeah, I'm going to have to do more work on this. But if this is an ABC up, watch this. 85. My God. 33. Are you kidding me? 50. <laughs> oh, you come out to the same. Uh, 112. Where's 112? Yep. So check this out. If, in fact, we get an ABC structure up, what you have is this. Is that... <laughs> this thing could go to 114. 107 is the first swing point, but that's the consolidation. So 114 is probably game. If 114 is game, that says quite a bit. That, that says that the market will also go higher. So we're going to have to really watch this counter trend bounce. It might you know, bounce back and forth for a bit. But if oil is going to go up to that high, that means the oil stocks will go that high. Commodity stocks will go that high. Yeah, it'd be interesting. Um, F-A-N-G. Let's go take a look at uh, FANG. F-A-N-G. F-A-N-G. So this is an ETF. Diamond. Oh, this is Diamondback Energy. Okay. Operates in point oil and gas company currently focused on acquisition development in the Permian Basin. Okay. So let's see what we got here. So they plan on doing $1.7 billion this quarter and bringing $3.40 to the bottom line. Yeah, I'd be careful with this. A couple of tigers want to look at this. Um, I don't like equities that don't have volumes at highs. You know, you got the volume up here at 131. That was on the 18th. We had 4.4 million, and then you tested it with 2.6. That's not good. Particularly, it's not good in the aspect that what you have is that you have... Um, all the rest of these, you know, energy stocks are moving like topside in a big way, man. Um, you know, you got Exxon doing an ABC structure up. You got Chevron doing an ABC structure up. Um, you know, that thing wants, you know, they want to go higher. So when you find something that is not as strong, you know, you really don't want to deal with it. Um, okay, so let's go take a look at Exxon. We have a question about going back to 2014, the price of 2014. So we're at 75 right now. Put this on a monthly. 24, is that 2014? Yeah, you can get there easy. Yeah. So, so watch this. Well, actually, it's an ABC. This is cool. Okay, so real question is, is that I can do it this way. Yeah, one second, hold it. This is a monster ABC up, 64, 31. Well, it's a 32 A to B, which gets you 84. Right now, you get an ABC structure to 84. Um, the reason I'm saying it can get up to those highs is that when you break 
You broke that trend line with wide price spread, accelerated volume. You get patience, man. Yeah. Higher we go, baby. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up uh, 378. Nasdaq's up 436. S&P's up 77. There you go. That, that seller was the buyer. Bang. Higher we go. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 393. NASDAQ up 420, 433. S&P's up uh, 77. Uh, you get some juice here. Uh, Nasdaq's up 3%. You got the S&P's up 1.4. Dow up 1.1. Um, that's normally what does happen, too, in a market. Uh, folks said that actually wants to go lower. You see, the, the volatility stays high. This is how it works out. What is going to be interesting is this. For all of us that, that buy, you know, the gold and silver equities, what we're going to really watch really closely is this. You can see it's game on. My screens are all green except the dollar, right? Bottom line wants higher price. The real kicker is going to be when the counter trend bounce ends and you start coming back down, what will happen with the equities, meaning the gold and silver equities at that particular point. And I will keep you updated on what my speculation is. Uh, but that's something you also want to understand as you're coming into markets as they're going higher. Um, you know, it's going to be really intriguing because if oil actually goes up to those levels, the oil stocks will go up and then all of a sudden does it get pushed too far? Um, I think inflation's still going to be out here. The, and that's always the, you know, the kicker here. When Steve brought up the actual um, 
Interest rates, there's no doubt. It's not just the interest rates. I was looking at the mortgages I have. The bottom line is that, you know, the 30-year mortgage folks went down to like 2.58% at some point, right? The bottom line is that 3% right now, I, I get plenty of mortgages that are 4.5%. Okay, and I didn't refinance them. The reason I didn't refinance them is that I refinance on some of these and they're costing you like 10 grand anyway in points or whatever. So it's like we have a long road before that thing's going to do some destruction, you know. And four, hi four hikes is not going to do it. Six hikes is only going to get you to 4.5. So um, depending, you know, how much properties are generating. And the reason I'm saying that is that... It, if properties do get hit, that'll make a difference in the market because they support so many jobs. I mean, I'm building houses. We support huge amounts of jobs every single day. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off. Oh, and it's a year and a tiger. And it's Tommy O'Brien's birthday Wednesday, so that's going to be a national holiday. Let's get it going.